What we're going over today is uh, welding symbols, arrow side versus other side, all right? And what I think I'm going to do is start a playlist um, on welding symbols because there's so much to cover on it and I want to go in depth in it and uh, do a bunch of videos where I uh, focus on one thing specifically. And what my plan is, is to do welding symbols up here, draw them just kind of like this right here with the joint over here, and then um, maybe do four or five of those drawings up here, and then actually go out in the lab and do the actual weld that is called out in the drawing. So that's what my plan is for the future, get a playlist just on welding symbols. But in this video, I'm, I'm going over arrow side versus other side. It's a introduction thing to uh, welding symbols that I think I kind of overlook a little bit when I talk to people. I just assume that they know because I've gone over it. And, uh, but I don't know if it's sunk in. So in this video, I'm gonna go over arrow side versus other side. What I'm gonna do is draw some joints up here with the welding symbols and then kind of quiz you on where's the arrow side, where's the other side. We're gonna do that here as I transition to the next uh, uh, scene, I guess. But for right now, the introduction to arrow side versus other side, this is your welding symbol. You have your reference line right here. This is your arrow going down here, your tail here. The welding, the weld symbol goes in the middle right here. And if it's on the bottom of the reference line, it goes on the arrow side of the actual joint. If it's on the top of the reference line, it goes on the other side of the actual joint. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, draw some um, actual joints with some welding symbols on the board here. And then I'm gonna pause for a minute and let you kind of think about which side is the, is the arrow side, which side is the other side, so that we make sure that you understand the concept of the arrow side versus the other side. So we'll get into the next part of the video here and I'll get some drawings up here. We're starting out here with a very common T-joint, right? Everybody's seen a T-joint before that's in the welding world, I hope anyways. And you can see here's the welding symbol and it's got a fillet weld symbol on the arrow side. So the question is, which side is the arrow side and which side is the other side? Think about it for a second. I'm gonna write down arrow is on this side and the other side is over here. All right, so if you were gonna actually do this, you would put the fillet weld on the arrow side. All right, let's grab another joint. Which side is the arrow side? Which side is the other side on this? Arrow. Other. All right, and you can see this single V weld symbol on the other side, so you're putting the weld over here on the other side. All right, let's get to another joint here. So on this one, we got a lap joint here, and you can see arrow's pointing here, so where's the arrow side versus the other side? Arrow's gonna be here. Other's gonna be over here. You can see a fillet weld, weld symbol, on the top line, so that represents the other side. So if you were going to actually do this, you would put the fillet weld right here, right? On the other side. Let's keep it going. Okay, so we have a double V groove here. Where's the arrow side? Where's the other side? Arrows up here. Others down here. And if you were to actually weld this, you'd be putting a weld in on both sides, right? Because it's on the arrow side down here and the other side. So you fill that in on both sides. We've got a single J groove weld here. Which side's the arrow side? Which side's the other side? Arrow. Other. And the single J is on the other side top of the reference line, so it's gonna go on the other side, right? Let's get into the next one. This is just a flat plate you can see here, and this welding weld symbol actually right here means surfacing, so you would surface the plate. And which side is the arrow side, which side is the other side? Arrow right here. Other right here. And then you would surface this weld, or surface this plate with weld, like this, all the way across. Moving on. This application would be like a square tube against a plate, 
and this would be a, considered a flare bevel. So which side's the arrow side, which side's the other side? This is going to be arrow right here. It's going to be other right here. And you put your weld in right here. Try to find something different. All right, so this is an edge setup. Which side's arrow side, which side's other side? This is going to be your arrow. Your other side is going to be up here. So arrow's down here, below the reference line. This one's above the reference line, which means it's going to go on the other side. So you put your weld in right here. Let's keep it going. This is a single U groove, you can see. So which side's arrow side, which side's other side. You can see the weld symbols on the arrow side. Arrow. This is going to be your other side. Well, we're up. All right, one last joint here. I tried to make something a little bit weird. So, which side's arrow side? Which side's other side? This is going to be arrow side here on this T joint. This is going to be other over here. And the weld symbols fill weld. Right here, because it's on the bottom of the reference line, so that's going to go on the arrow side, the top. There's a single bevel, so that's going to go over here on the other side, because it's on the top of the reference line. All right, so hopefully that explains arrow side versus other side. And like I said, if you're looking for that new playlist on weld symbols, if you're if you're looking to increase your knowledge on weld symbols, I'm going to do a bunch of videos on it. I think so. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld, and we'll do some more welding symbols next time.